Modern technology is designed to make our lives easier. From the explosion of smartphones and in-home devices, through to how we manage our medical records and of course how we bank. But modern isn't always better, particularly for those with a disability. Almost 20% of Australians, or one in five of us, have a disability. And as the population ages, that number is expected to grow. The existing standards are about 15 years old. So both the industry and the disability sector recognised that there was a huge need to review the standards. Well, banking's always changing. I mean, sometimes people forget that. But you think about what's happened in that 15 years, particularly in the 10. You know, the iPhone, as people are commonly talk about now, is only 10, 11 years old. That's transformed everything. And that's just one part of banking. Where we fall down is, and it's very much unintentional on the part of companies, is where they design what they think is a fantastic new system or a new device or a new app or a new website but they don't actually consult with people with disability from the beginning. I guess the mantra that I kind of live by in what I do is that accessibility is not about guidelines, it's about people. And it's our responsibility as the people that build things or create products and services to make sure that everybody can use what it is that we're building or producing. Access to banking and financial services is critical to every Australian. It underpins our everyday lives and secures our financial well-being into the future. That's why it's a human right that needs to be observed by every bank. But increasingly, it's also a commercial reality for every bank. Every customer counts. What I think we've got is an excellent roadmap to guide us towards a really inclusive banking sector that doesn't leave anybody behind. We've got a, a set of principles now which are current and part of the principles require their review every couple of years. We've got buy-in from the industry uh, and the disability sector for the principles and that will give us a good platform to continue to provide information and facilities in banking for people with disabilities into the future. I mean, two years doesn't sound very far away, but as we know in today's world, things change really, really fast. So we know it'll be better. We know that though when we sit here in two years it won't be done and we'll still have a lot more to do but I think we're on a really exciting path and it's great to see the industry embrace the needs around accessibility in such a positive and empathetic way.